Hello and welcome to the second demo of Lispy. This is a package for Emacs that uh, gives you short and sweet Lisp editing. See, there's a shortcake and everything. So let's jump to the function reference. Um, I have a few features uh, to cover that uh, have appeared since the last one. Um, open it here. Yeah, and the function that I want to demonstrate today is uh, one that unbinds a let bound variable. So it's kind of a refactoring tool. So um, here we have the bindings categorized by the keys in which they are bound. So the global ones, the ones for the small letter, the ones for the large letter, and the ones for the X. So the unbound unbind variable is supposed to be bound to XU, but um, mm, haven't written it down yet. So let's just do it now. So go to um, bind, yeah. Select, uh, copy, um, switch to index. So I have my GitHub pages in the same uh, same directory as uh, this one, and I want to insert it here. Um, then just uh, create a link. Um, go to the X bindings, and I want to put it here. Let's create a new line. X U. Okay. Nice. So this is what uh, I want it to look like. And this should look like a function, so it's uh, bound to um, XU. And um, unbind, mm, unbind, uh, let bound variable. Um, let's uh, just insert uh, um, an example for this. So, first we need a HTML table, then a um, key list. And the example probably should come from the test. So let's just jump to test. And find. Yeah, it's here. Um, select uh, this one. Um, back to index. Uh, okay. And quote this with the um, prefix. Um, um, okay. So this, does it look okay? No. Yeah, it looks okay. Okay, so this is the initial one that we start with, and the vertical bar represents the starting point. And then I say that, um, so if you start with this, uh, uh, then you type XU, and in the end you should end up with um, this, and then I should uh, just uh, change it. So the cursor should be here, let me just um, align it properly. Um, X, U. So what it did, uh, let's just undo. What it did is uh, it uh, took the value of x ten and replaced it everywhere inside this uh, inside this uh, let binding x u. So the cursor remained here. Let's uh, just insert it and then done. Uh, let's export uh, just to see how it looks like. Okay, x bindings unbind variable. Okay. Uh, Looks reasonable. No, it still needs a line separator. So let me just uh, add it here. Uh, should look better now. Okay, that's good. Um, so let's jump to the source of unbind variable. And um, uh, see how it works. So previously, when I I didn't write this function, I was just doing it by hand. So um, yeah, this one. Um, X U. Yeah, of course. Undo. Uh, so what I was doing. Uh, let me let me just follow the commands over here to do the same thing. So first I do forward char, uh, I edit mode, uh, mark the symbol, and then I move down with S. See? So now everything is almost done. Just need to disable the I edit and um, remove this thing. So this is what it is. And um, let me just um, undo it again and uh, do it um, from the debugger on the left with the P. So P evolves in other windows. 
so forward char t uh, jump to the next one um, then I, I edit jump to the next one mark to move move down I edit move deactivate mark out backward delete and then uh, prettify the expression in case it's not balanced uh, properly so it didn't do anything um, yeah so this is uh, how this function looks like um, um, let me see if I can uh, test uh, drive it um, uh, maybe do some refactoring in the past so um, switch the branch of uh, refactor which I prepared earlier refactor demo um, jump the whiskey down and this is uh, the one that uh, I want to see um, so here uh, let's uh, t have a look at this uh, one symbol t where it's used and I demonstrate a newer feature which is uh, um, a curve bound to y um, yeah so it shows me that one symbol t is used uh, just twice in this function so what it does is um, narrows uh, the occur search uh, to to only the top level text uh, and um, it's very fast to select any symbol within it so let me just um, um, maybe quickly demonstrate uh, what y does so y cons so i want to quickly jump to cons or i want to say quickly jump to the if yeah so which if probably this one and let's jump to cons again so y con enter yep it's very fast um okay so back to what we were doing the one symbol t um flatten it i mean i'm unbind it yeah it's gone now let's have a look at the usage of this variable delta aha it's not used anywhere might as well delete it um so at the str it's used here and here so it's a good candidate for unbinding and now this flat binding has become useless, so might as well just get rid of it. And uh, let's have a look at the change uh, that I've made. Um, did it? Yeah. So, um, mm -hmm. so a bunch of stuff was removed here, and um, one parent removed over here. Looks reasonable enough. Um, um, might as well discard this and switch back to master. Okay, um, this uh, wraps it up. Uh, so I've covered two commands and uh, managed to update the documentation in the process. So thanks for watching. Bye bye.